Hi, and thanks for joining me tonight. What I thought I would do before I started painting tonight is just show you a bit around my studio. Um, and we'll just have a bit of a look around at what I, what I have. So it's always interesting. I, you know, I would love to look inside a lot of artist studios and be able to see what they do. So, so I thought I'd just show you around. So come and have a look around, I'll, I'll show you around. Thanks. So it's a very simple, small studio, as you can see. Um, so I have the desk here. I have uh, the, the tripod that I set up for videoing, and I have this uh, galvanized steel frame that I can attach things onto if I need to. But most of it's meant to keep out of the way, really, of the whole painting process. I have uh, some LED daylight lights, another daylight bulb there, uh, and then I have all of my brushes and things here. Uh, I have other artists' work, like uh, Jeffrey Dyer's work up on the wall. Um, and Turner and things like that, just uh, artists that I just love that are either alive or passed away. Uh, and then d down here I have a set of map drawers. This is an invaluable purchase many years ago. And this is where I store you know, a lot of things. So I might store paints down in here in bowls, keep, keep, keep the dust out. And then in here is where I store lots of uh, paint, completed paintings, nice and, and flat. And, Lucky as a watercolorist, you can store, you know, a lot of things in, in, in here. So lots of experimentation and that sort of thing. Uh, and so I store a lot of uh, mount boards in under here that I use to paint on. It's my uh, music that I get to listen to sometimes. And, uh, and then some painting for all the walls. So uh, as you can see here, I've got some good lighting and. And then I've got a nice uh, sink here, which is great, and a, uh, a toilet, which is always handy. I don't have to leave my studio. And uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of books on painting, and then s spare materials, tapes, tissues, all that sort of thing. And then some completed uh, matted watercolours and some canvases there. So I do a, a few canvases, but not very many, mostly works on paper. Um, and so, so this is it, really. It's a, it's a really great space for me to paint on here. And here is where I have my uh, jars of nice, I'll wash them out before I start with nothing to put nice, clean, fresh water in there. Uh, and then in here you can see I've been washing brushes out. This is what happens to watercolor when you try and do too much on the page. It turns into a brown, beautiful mud. But if you want clear colors, you really have to be careful about mixing all the colors together on the page because that's what will end up happening. So uh, I, I think that's, that's mainly it. This is my brushes and really I could probably get away with about probably four or five brushes really. You don't really need that many in order to paint and, and these are my spare tubes of watercolor. So I think that's, that's mainly it. I have lots of um, blank paper in under here. Just right in under there is there's a whole lot of um, sheets of, full sheets of blank paper. Like that's a Reeves. BFK etching paper, I've got other papers in there too. And they stay at the bottom and, and stay nice and flat. So I think that's, that's really about it. It's, I, I painted the whole studio white and, um, and put in lots of daylight bulbs so there's some good lighting because uh, I'd love the luxury of painting during the day but I actually paint most of my works at night so I needed lots of good lighting. So thanks, we might as well get started. See you later.